If you're eager to enjoy the summer and get in the water, especially in the Connecticut River, you'll have to wait a little longer because the levels are still too high. Uh, the heavy rain and flooding over the past week causing problems. Daniel Santiago joining us live in Springfield after getting answers on what to look out for before you head out onto the water. Daniel. Chris, Abby, the heavy rains and the flooding over the past week and a half have put a hold on summer plans for some. But with water finally receding, a date to resume those plans could be closer than we think. With recent flooding and heavy rain impacting Western Mass for a second week, the high water levels in the Connecticut River are keeping boats and swimmers out of the water. But for how long? Western Mass News spoke to Kelsey Wetland, a river store in Massachusetts for the Connecticut River Conservancy. She tells us there are two ways to measure river levels to determine whether it is safe to go in or not. So there are two ways that we generally measure river height and river flow. One is cubic feet per second. So that's really a measure of how fast the river is moving. And the other is by a stream gauge. And that's not necessarily a depth reading, it's more uh, a measurement of how high the river is in relation to that gauge. She tells us those measurements are being taken more frequently now than they were last year. That is because we haven't seen rain like this for almost 80 years. This type of flooding we just had was near what we call a flood of record, which is the highest flood on record. And that was around 130 feet back in the 1930s, long time ago. This flood was not that high, but it did peak up over 115, maybe close to 120, if that number helps give a sense of the scale. It was significant flooding here in this part of the valley. Wentling also tells us there are visual cues to tell us when it's safe to go boating or swimming. When I stand on the riverbank or up on the bridge, I'll sometimes look for things actually in the water and see how quickly it's moving. And unfortunately, sometimes that's things like garbage. And you can see garbage piling up and moving really quickly downstream. That tells me the water is moving really quickly. Uh, as we said, color is a good indicator. Um, but then also kind of use your common sense. If no one else is in the water, there may be a reason for that and it may not be safe for you to go either. Today, we also spoke to Springfield's Fire Department Captain Drew Pomonti. He tells us that people should stay out of the Connecticut River for at least one more week. That, of course, could change if we get more heavy rain. Reporting live in Springfield, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.